Hello and welcome to the detailed analysis of Bassi dye. Uh, generally speaking, we call it just Bassi, uh, but it is the original first one, so it is known as Bassi dye, which is the greater. Uh, Bassi stands for Storm the Fortress, and the animal that represents it is the cobra. So, starting here, we have a normal chumbi. As you can see, both my right hand and my right leg have uh, a red rubber band around it just so you get the idea of which side is which. Okay, so then the first thing we have to do is have to go to our right hand side, okay, to here, and pull it in for Bassai Chumbi. So, as you can see, my left hand is open there. Zooming in a bit. So, left hand is open, right hand is closed. Okay, I pull my feet together. Bring it up to face height, as you can see, the traditional wushu hand position there. Pull it up to my face, and I go to my tiptoes here, feet together again. Up level with my face, and if I can zoom in there for my face a bit, you can see it's up level with my nose, hand open there, and I pull close down and I pull it down to the top here. Now, don't know if you can really see this in the video, but my right hand is closed and my left thumb is on top of my hand. You know, my feet are together completely. Okay, so there's no foot splayed out, which is the more of the Japanese style. Okay, and here, and body's up the front there. First thing that's going to happen is when I twist through, so my left foot turns out, and my left heel goes in front there, and my right knee points forwards. And then I'm going to push my weight forwards, driving with my left foot, and then my left foot is going to go behind my right foot. And then back fist to the face. You notice the whole time, if I go back a little bit, if you watch my hand, it slides down my wrist. It doesn't lose contact. Okay, and I'm striking to the face, that's where you can't see my face. So I'm not striking low, I'm not striking high, I'm striking directly to the face. Okay, then I'll turn and look to the back. Left arm inside to outside. Right arm inside to out. Okay, so it's a double move, so you want to be doing this like quickly. Okay, so it's not one break than the other, it's one, two. Okay, and then I'm going to look over my right shoulder. Pull my right foot across. And then step there, outside to in, driving back with my right elbow. So it's going to drive back this way. And then my left hand is going to go outside to in, round to the front. Hips should be slightly twisted. So you can see, you notice you go in. So my hip goes across. Go back and move. So look, it comes right across. So it goes past the left hand side of my face level to my right hand side. And you notice my hips are twisted and you see my belt moving around. So I've got hips pushing as far that way as I can but maintain my front stance. Then I'll roll through inside to out, making myself go square, then looking to east. Okay. So the first moves are going to north, south, okay, I'm going via west. Okay, now I'm gonna go directly to east. So I'm looking this way here. Okay, and I'm pulling it up there. I know you can't see the top of my hand, but my arm is completely straight up. Okay, right knee's going to come up two, past there, and load. Look at this load of my arm. The more I pull this out, the more power this right hand is going to have when I drive forward and step into it. Boom. There. Again, then again, inside to out with my left arm. So we go outside to in, inside to out again. So right, then left. There, and then again, before I go to move, I snap my head across and punch my right hand across a hook punch. Straight across this way here. And if I use it. So I'm punching straight across my body there into horse riding stance. So now I'm facing north again. And then my right hand is going to do a knife hand. That no, it's not. It's going to switch across and punch left. My bad. Left hand knife hand. Right hand punch and then I twist through. Now the particular way I do it is if I'm someone's got a hold of my hand and I'm pulling their 
wrist off from my hand and then gonna back fist to the face. You can do a punch and twist straight into a back fist. Okay, it just depends on your emphasis of what, what you want to do. Okay, so if I zoom this in a little bit, you can see that I twist through there. So it's, I'm pulling some someone's hand off my hand and then a back fist to the face and do a twisted front stance. So I'm going my front stance is going off to 45 degrees, but everything from my shoulder upwards is facing straight forwards. Zoom back out. And then we do exactly the same thing with my left. So that's my right hand there, that's in the front. Horse right stance punch on my left, and then twist, back fist with my left. And then I'm going to chamber across. So my right leg and right hand foot is going to come forward for a knife hand block for the face. And my hands only go to my left hip, as we should all know by this level, okay, into a triangle position. So I go in, go up, in, up, one more, and there. Okay, so I do three going forwards, maintaining the back stance, and now I'm going to drive backwards. So this right hand is going to extend straight, and my left hand, this one, is going to go to my left, uh, right here, up here. And okay, I'm going to step backwards into a back stance. So it comes up, then backwards into a back stance, and then I'm going to twist across. So my right foot at the back is going to go behind my left, and I'm going to bring my hand into there. So my right hand goes into my left, and it's above my head. And look, I'm still being able, still got clear vision, looking straight to north. Okay, and then I'm going to pull him down to my right hip. So my hand's going to go from here down to, sorry, to my left hip, and drive my knee up and psychic out. So again, again this idea of pulling everything in, pulling the knee up, and extending out with a psychic. Let's drive it down, psychic, again remember the pivot, and to land into a back stance, I re-chamber my foot against my knee, and then go back into a back stance there. And then we move forward into another back stance knife hand there. Now, from there, I'm going to bring my foot backwards. So I'm going to put the weight onto the ball of my foot, of my left foot, and bring my right foot back together. Fist together here. When I, there's a side profile of this, you'll get to see this better because obviously you're just looking at the back now. But both my fists together, little fingers touching. I'm going to go up there. You can't really see above that, but break out. So it goes out to the side. So I pull both hands away to the side here, right knee comes up, hammer fist little fingers together, step through, punch, there, so again it's midsection punch in a front stance, now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go into the Odan moves, if, again if you're doing this through our particular syllabus then you are going to go forwards and strike into Odan, so I come across, strike to the groin, pull back into a back stance and then twist up. Okay, so pulling that arm through, up, and again, as you can see, my right hand's above my head, here. Okay, so it shouldn't be behind my head, hidden, it should be right above my head. Okay, now I'm going to kick and hammer fist. Okay, so originally in Odan you do the kick hammer fist first, so then you end up building up to this point. Okay, so here you got to hit, I'm going to... Go to the front. Now I want to cover, as my right hand comes round, I want to cover my face. I don't want to leave my face open to be an easy target. So I'm going to cover. Okay, and to help myself, before the kick, look at my feet. So you can see that I've twisted this out here to allow my hips to open up. So when I kick to this direction, okay, I can get my foot up and kick over. And come back out so you can see it clearly. So I'm going back to north. Kick, hammer fist, okay, look, pull it in, and load it out. So again, horse running stance, so we're kicking hammer fist to horse running stance, and then goes the opposite direction, going veil west, so we're going from north to south. Remember, the bit at the back there is not marked south, but that is the only one that's left. And we kick and hammer fist to my left hand. So right, kick, oh, it's an elbow, into horse running stance there. And then I've got three strokes down. 
So I'm keeping one arm up every single time. So this time my left hand is going to stay up and my right hand is going to hammer fist. Then my left hand is going to hammer fist. Then right again. Load. And I will step across to a front stance. So my body is going to move to west. So my right foot is going to move to west. There. And then I'm going to elbow strike to front stance to south. This way. And then I'm going to load up. So I'm pulling both hands to my left hip. And double punch. Going to face height. And to my solar plexus at the same time. Again, you're always measuring towards yourself, so it's your face height to your solar plexus. Do a punch, pull it back, so it goes to my left hip, and then you're going to switch over, still facing south. So I'm just going to go from my left hip, switch over to my right hip, and then I'll kick with my left leg. So that, that left leg inside to out, so I'm going up across. Don't do that. So go up and across, and then I rechamber because I need to go back out to a front stance and double punch right hand on top. So my right hand's going to punch the face, left hand's going to punch midsection. So chamber so I can get the stance, drive forwards there, maintaining the straight up stance, but again, still front stance. Tall piggies going to market, so you're going towards south, left hand, uh, right, right hand, sorry, punching to the head. Left hand, punching in midsection. And then I'm going to draw back again. So I'm going back to exactly the way I came. So my left foot is going to come backwards. And then I'll switch over again with my arms. So left foot comes back to my right and hands to my right hip, switch to my left. Now right leg's going to kick. Double punch, left hand on top. Quick glance. Okay, now I've got to go around to Basso Jesse. So from here, I come round, chamber. Back fist down. So now look at the stance. If I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay. So my hand here is parallel to the floor. Okay. So I don't have my hand up high here. And I don't have my hand low down there. Okay. So it's parallel to the floor. My right knee, this one. Is one inch from the floor, okay, or well, two and a half centimeters. I'm gonna go into new money, okay. Spare fist is pulled right back to the back there, and I'm focusing forward. Now the whole of my body is gonna twist around. So at the minute I'm facing north, I'm gonna get on my knee here is pointing west, okay. I'm gonna just switch all that round. So then my right knee is gonna to point to east, okay, and but my body is gonna stay focused to north. There. So spare fist pull back. Again, if you look at that knee, not going to get the ruler out or anything like that, but we'll assume that's not far off an inch. Okay, and I'll pull it into the hip and out there. So again, to help myself plant into the position, I have my uh, ball and foot dragging forwards from my left hip, right arm, and leg comes forward knife hand now I'm gonna look comes back right on my leg to the side knife hand look to the corner so now I'm not going east or north I'm going to northeast this direction here so right arm my leg forwards right arm my leg forwards and finish left arm and leg forwards to this way here to northeast and that's where your final key app is so the two key apps are the side kick and the last move here and now I've got to pull back because we're starting Basai Chumbi, so we have to finish it. So, left arm and leg, this one, and that one has to go backwards to here. I look, then chamber up to the front, tiptoes, back down, set back into Basai Dai Chumbi, and then show, relax. Okay, so, now, same form, side profile. Just so you can get the idea of, because some of the moves you can't really see with me going just facing towards there. So as you can see now, I've now changed the wording around. So I'm facing north to start. Okay, east is to my right. 
West is now the wall of back which isn't marked and South is behind where the mirror is. So again, a little bit quicker explanation this time. So the first bit, that's the one you're going to look at. If you want the full detail here, I'm just going to just say the moves so you can watch this and hopefully hear it. So right leg forwards, stepping forward. Roll through, don't lose contact with the arm, right hand back fist. Look to the back, left arm and leg, inside to outside block. Right arm and leg, inside to outside block. Look, drive my right hand backwards. Step across with your right foot, outside to in with your left. And then inside to out with your right hand, going back to square. Now bring, look to my right, which is east. Okay, pull my right arm straight up. Okay, and I pull my knee up as well. And I bring it up, round, and strike in. There, so right hand's into the front. And I twist through, left arm comes through into a reverse stance. There. And we drag it back, right hand punches. Left hand punches across the front, left hand knife hand. Right hand twist, right hand back fist. Left hand Pull right hand punch, left hand back fist. Right arm and leg comes in to the left hip. Okay, and left hand side. So I draw my foot from east to west, but I'm keeping my left foot static on the spot. Drive forward, knife hand, right hand, knife hand, left hand forwards, knife hand right, facing north. Bring it back, bring it up. Side kick, right arm and leg, knife hand to south. Step forwards, more and more knife hand to south. Pull it back. Right foot up. Above my head, this is a bit you can see before. Break. Little fingers hit together. Skip through. Punch. Look. Strike. Pull back. And then twist up into o into the O dance stance. So my right hand, you know you can't quite see it there. It's above my head. Feet together. Okay, so there's no foot pointing out to the side here. Okay, and then I'm going to set up. We're covering my right hand around my face, kick and hammer fist into horse runner stance. Chamber so I can get the horse runner stance in line. Look to my left, strike out with my left hand, and now that's to my target. Kick and elbow, and then right hand hammer fist, left hand hammer fist, right hand hammer fist. Load up, right elbow. So now I'm facing to south. Now I'm going to double punch. Here. Yep. So pull back, left hand, as you can see, it's a face height, right hand, it's the body. And I'm going to draw backwards, so my right foot's going to go backwards. Switch over to my right hip, and I'm going to kick and, ham uh, kick and go into a front stance with my left leg. So outside to in, chamber, step forwards, front stance, double punch, right hand on top, switch over to the left, kick with the right. Double punch there, and then as I go round, quick glance to my right, so I've got a position to step round to, and I'm going to get my feet in line to keep that balance as I go through. So it goes round there. Okay, if you see, if I go back a little second, you can see my arm is parallel here. Okay, and then I'll switch there. Okay, and now I'm going to bring that right foot back and then out straight away so I'm going to bring my right foot towards west and go st straight forwards knife and one look to my right knife and two right arm and leg and knife and three there with left arm and leg forward and I draw my foot back as all pre downgrade forms do go backwards back into Chumbi remember going back to Basai it's up to the tiptoes there down and show. Okay, so that's the form there. So you've got the side profile there. Now, straight after this, this is going to be me just going straight through at full speed, and then you gives you a chance just to watch it. Okay, so so that's just a brief explanation. So no north, east, south and west. Again, you've got the previous videos to look at that. So Basai Chumbi. Right arm and leg forwards. Strike. Look to the back. Left arm and leg. Right arm. Look. 
pull your right arm backwards, left arm through, twist through, right arm through. Look to my right, right arm goes straight up, round to the side, outside to in. Left arm inside to out. Look to the front, punch with your right, switch, punch with your left, left hand knife hand, right hand punch, right hand back fist, left hand punch, left hand back fist. Right arm and leg forwards, knife hand, left arm and leg forwards, knife hand. Right arm and leg forwards, knife hand. Right arm and leg draws back. Right hand goes into left. Right knee comes up. Side kick. Push your hands down to your hip. Pivot the other way. Knife hand. Step forwards. Knife hand. Draw your right foot back. Little fingers touching. Push up through the centre. Above your head. Break it apart. One. Raise your knee up. Hammer fist to the body. Step through and punch midsection. Look, strike, Odan, pull back, feet in line, twist up, there, feet together, cover, kick with your right, hammer fist with your right, look out to your left, left hand goes out with cover, kick and elbow with the right side, right hammer fist, left hammer fist, right hammer fist, load, right elbow, double punch, Pull back, switch to your right, kick with your left, double punch right hand on top, left hand on the bottom in the front stance. Pull back, see your right hip, switch over to your left, kick with your right leg, double punch left hand on top, right hand out, look round, left leg steps through, right hand back fist down, left hand down, bring your right foot in to your left, right hand and leg, knife hand. Right arm and leg, knife hand to the right, left arm and leg to the corner, and out. Draw it back, right hand closed, left hand right round, tiptoes, drop down, there, and then hands and feet together, show, relax. And that is the end of Basai. Okay, so remember, watch the first two to learn the form, and then the last one just to keep running through it. Once you've got the idea of the form, then you can watch this last section there to get an idea of how it exactly works hope you enjoyed that uh, please remember to like and subscribe to youtube and to watch all the facebook stuff if you can share as much stuff as possible that'd be fantastic uh, really appreciate you watching it and uh, see you very soon thank you